Magic Leap is a company that's trying to change the world with computers you wear on your face, and a few months ago they announced LeapCon. LeapCon was Magic Leap's first major conference, and let me tell you, when they invited me to come, I was ecstatic. I had no idea what the event was going to be like, which only added to the building sense of mystery and anticipation. So I packed my bags and went on a road trip with 10 other mixed reality creators where we shared a very small two bedroom apartment <laughs> as we anxiously waited for the first day of LeapCon. And let me tell you. Holy shit! They did it, baby. They did it, ladies and gentlemen. This is happening. This is really happening. Uh, oh my god, it's making me This is so beautiful. So yeah, it was a good event. Magic Leap got to share more details about their vision of the future and their reality lasagna. There were new games, there were new artistic experiences, there were new applications. There was this goat guy. And just like that, the Magic Leap 1 became a much more fully realized platform, full of different examples of different approaches to the medium that really help you understand where all of this is going. And this brings me to one of the strange things about this conference. Magic Leap is pretty much pretending to be a consumer device. The things they're putting out, the way they talk about their product, it's like it's already in the consumer market. And everybody knows that that's not the case. It's still pretty much a dev kit. We're still in the very early days of this platform. And since the conference was really all about inviting developers and creators to make stuff for the Magic Leap, the question that comes to my mind is right now, who are we developing this for? Is it really the consumer market? And if so, how are you gonna get there? Their focus is certainly not enterprise like the HoloLens, even though in the conference they have talked about how they want to become an enterprise device. Um, none of their efforts right now are really in that direction. So overall, Magic Leap has announced a lot of things and they were able to speak about where they were going, but there's still a lot of unanswered questions and these are things that they need to address in the coming months. Now let's talk about the people. The coolest thing about LeapCon was actually the people. All the creators and developers were just so enthusiastic about this new future they were building. They were essentially a bunch of large children with these big fucking twinkle in their eyes. They weren't there for the money, they were there for something larger than themselves, for the future that they wanted to build together. So the conversations that I got to have with people at LeapCon were actually very inspiring. And it was especially good to be able to finally talk with Magic Leap employees. I mean, think about it. These people have been working on all of this for years and they weren't able to tell anyone about it. Having their day-to-day -day interactions constrained by all these NDAs and legal documents that could essentially end your life if you break them. So it was good to get to talk with them in person and understand what they think is important and get to know them more as people. So now let's go into some of my highlights for the event. Seedling looks like a really weird experience that I really really want to try. Dr. G's Invaders is finally out. That game that Magic Leap has been teasing for a very long time and got a lot of people very angry. Unreal Engine went on stage and announced the support they were giving to Magic Leap developers. And then Timony West from Unity just destroyed Unreal. Smeagol from Lord of the Rings announced some cool new tracking tech and the first mixed reality play. They talked about the importance of diversity and one of the coolest unexpected surprises was actually Micah, the new avatar AI that they announced. And I feel weird calling it a technical achievement because it just looks so real. Their micro gestures are extremely detailed and the demo that they showed is an experience that will stay with me probably for the rest of my life. But then they went on stage and said that they wanted to track your emotions. No, Magic Leap. That's creepy. Don't. Ultimately, it was a really cool event. The people that were there were amazing. They announced some interesting new things. And I have a better idea of where they're going, but I'm not sure how they're gonna get there. Ultimately, the enthusiasm from the people in the Magic Leap team makes me want them to win, and I hope that they succeed. I think it was one of the most fun conferences of the year, and I'm really thankful I got to be part of it. There's just one thing I would like to ask Magic Leap.
Bring back the space, fudge guy. I love big no. space. Oh, yeah. 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 Also, please subscribe and support me on Patreon. Thanks. <laughs>